the actual process here. So, filleting a northern. It's a nice size one. The trick here is to get rid of all of our bones. So, the first cut will go along the back. Right to where the bones are, right there. See so, yeah. that? Cut down that far. And then you cut all the way to that dorsal fin. And that will leave you with a boneless piece of meat there. Let's get that out. Awful big fish to keep. That's a play right there. Then what that enables you to do is you can you can see those Y bones are right there. And what you want to do is you want to eliminate all of them. So rather than coming right to the here, where you're going to pick up all those bones, we're going to the outside of those live bones. How, how deep did you catch this one in? Two water, and it went for that artificial. Went for the artificial, that uh, chartreuse yep. crankbait. This would have been a good one to pickle. You got any pickled northern? Nope. Why don't you pickle them? Well, it takes several days to pickle a fish. Why don't you usually keep them when they're this big? I I don't usually. Is the meat not as good? Well, or? there's more mercury, they say, in a bigger fish. Mm. They just live longer. And... But once Oma's in a while, over. once in a while, it's okay. Oma's eating this anyways. <laughs> <laughs> you threw back four yesterday. And you wasn't too happy. Some will say here you're you're wasting a lot of the meat, but nobody really likes to eat that when you have to pick through the bones, so running out of table here. Don't you hold that fish up? It's really for this size fish too. This is a good way to do it because it's not such a thick piece of meat. But that's all should be boneless in there too. And of course, you always want to check the mm -hmm. two in there maybe. One there. But you can kind of feel around to feel them. That's basically it. And then you would do the same thing, same thing to the other side.